Hi YouTube, how are you guys doing? I'm doing all right. I hope you guys are doing great on this Saturday evening. This is when I'm filming. Filming. So as you guys can tell by my title of this video, I named it Where Was My Mother? So I know you guys probably thinking, did she abandon you? Were you in foster care? What happened to your mother? Where was your mother? Who were you raised by? Okay, I'm going to get to all those questions and I'm going to answer them all for you guys. So, no, my mother did not bid in me to start off with. So, let's get to the story from way beginning. So, as you guys know, I was born in Haiti. I am Haitian if you have seen my introduction video. So, my mother, she was still in Haiti when I came in the U.S. with my dad. So, this is what happened. My grandma, she was in the U.S. So, she brought me and my dad in the U.S. And I came when I was in the U.S. Like, when I was like five or six. So I've been in the U.S. for like maybe like a good 14, maybe 11. I don't know the exact math, but it's around that time. I've been here for a long time now. So, <coughs> so my grandma bought me and my dad here. And my mom, she stayed in Haiti. So I had to leave my mom behind and I came with my dad. So I was basically raised by, I was raised by my dad and my grandma my whole, for like 15 years no, basically not 15 years because I was in Haiti for a good five years. Basically, I would say 10 years. I was raised by my grandma and my dad for 10 years and my mom was still in Haiti. Now, as you all know, in order to come here in the U.S., you have to go through the, um, the immigration process. Now, if you guys um, don't know what I'm talking about, then you guys might want to do some research. But I'm going to also tell you guys a little bit about it. So in order to bring somebody in the U.S., you have to file a bunch of paperwork. You have to either be um, you have to either be married to the person. This person has to be either related to you, in order in order for you to file for them to come in the U. In order to file for them to come in the U.S. And it's a lot of um, like it's a it takes a lot. And the process is like so long and you have to do so much things and you got to pay. You got to get your papers notarized. You got to mail them. You got to pay. Like if you guys are bringing people in the U.S. from wherever you or like wherever they're coming from, either it's Haiti, Canada or wherever the case is, um, you guys know what I'm talking about. And you guys can relate to this story I'm talking about. So basically, my dad had to go back to um, Haiti to get married to my mom to basically make the process like maybe let's say for longer into like a shorter tor um, term I can't even talk sorry guys <laughs> so basically yeah my dad had to go back to Haiti and marry my mom because usually for some reason when you marry somebody the process is like much faster I don't know why and but um it's just the process more faster when like um when you're like a married when you're married or something like that they look into your file faster and like they work out your paperwork faster i'm not sure what's the case but i guess like it's just something about it it's just something they like and okay so my mom my dad went back and married my mom and then he came here and then she um he also did this um, other thing. Cause when I had asked him about it, he told me he did this thing. I'm not sure what it's called, but it's basically like it's like a pay. It's like um, it's basically like a letter. He wrote them a letter to the immigration, basically, basically saying like, "Look, I have a daughter. My daughter needs her mom, and um, um, I'm a husband. I can't cook. I need my wife to be next to me." financially you know emotionally you know like all these things like he wrote in a letter and then he sent to them and stuff and they looked at it and stuff they looked at it and they basically like you know this um paperwork and stuff now my dad had to go back to mom um, to haiti to marry my mom because or else the process would not go faster and at the time my parents wasn't married so that's why he had to go back and then um and then that's why I was like, I was without, <coughs> <coughs> that's why I was without my mom for 10 years. Not because she left me or anything. It's because um, we, because even me, I um, it was my grandma that brought me and my dad in the U.S. And I came through my dad, I came through my dad. 
and I wasn't 18 yet, so I was still underage. So I basically um, qualified to come with my dad because I was his um, child. So basically, my grandma um, brought his um, her son, and her son, and then the son, the son, which is my dad, brought me. So now it was my dad's turn to bring my um, to bring my mom. Now my grandma couldn't bring my mom because it would be too much um the process will be too long so it's better for my dad to bring my mom and it was better for him to go to haiti and marry my mom um and then basically that's all that's basically what happened so um and then as you guys know in my introduction video i also mentioned like i have three siblings one is six years old the other one is four years old the other one is two years old now you guys are probably wondering what she's gonna say now so basically my siblings i'm 21 right now i'm 21 and my siblings like you know we have a huge gap so my mom was still in the u.s when my dad brought my mom in the u.s at, when my mom came in the u.s i was 15 years old at the time i was just um i was still in um i was entering high school i was um 15 and um basically <laughs> I was the only child for 10 years with my mom, with my dad and my grandma in the U.S. And my mom, she had no other child, like, from outside, you know, none of that stuff. And then when my mom came in the U.S., she had my little brother, which is the one that's six years old. His name is Jaden. And then, <laughs> and then um, she tried again because she was, like, after a girl, she tried again. And she ended up having a, another boy which is um his name is um uh, major which is he's four years old and then she tried again i was like oh my god no more kids no more cities i'm good two is enough and then she tried again and then now he's two years old which is aiden so now i went from being the only child to having three other siblings now i do get that a lot like whenever i go around like my school or my job or um just outsiders they'd be like how old are you and i'd be like i'm 21 or before i was like on youtube i was like 2019 i'm like i'm 19 or 20 you know and they'd be like how old are your brothers and i'd be like oh they're six or at the time before i started youtube they were five or four or whatever and then i'd be like that's how old they are and they'd be like what your mom had kids um your mom had um your mom waited that long to have kids no it's not that she waited that long to have that um the kids. It's that my mom and my dad were not together for a long time. My mom was is still in Haiti, and I was still here with my grandma and my dad. And then that is why there's such a long gap between me and my siblings. Now, my mom is light-skinned, and I'm dark. Now, a lot of people be like, that's not your mother, because my three little brothers, they actually got my mom's color. And they got my mom's, like, you know, vision and everything. And I look like my dad. You know, I do look like my dad. I am a daddy's little girl. You know, my daddy's smoothie and everything. <laughs> but um, a lot of people be like, that's not your mother. And I be like, if that's not my mother, then you guys tell me who's my mother. Because obviously, y'all know about my life more than I do. Maybe I don't know who my mother is. But I do know who my mother is. So how many of you guys can relate? Sometimes you don't look like your mother. Or sometimes you don't even look like your father. Does that mean they're not your father and mother? Like, do they know who they, who's your mother and father? Like, please let me know how you guys feel about that. <laughs> so, yeah, you guys. That's basically my story. It wasn't that long. That is really my story about where was my mother. My mother was in Haiti. <laughs> so, basically, I hope you guys enjoyed this story time. Um, I, go, I hope you guys like, subscribe, comment. Let me guys... Um, Tell me guys how you feel about this story time. Let me guys know if you guys had like a similar situation. Let me guys know if you grew up without your dad or mom, grandma, what was ever the case. Because they were like in another country. You had to do like documents and paperwork. And they had to get married. Or any of those things to bring your significant other like to the U.S. Like let me know. Like you know. Well you guys I am going to end off this video for today. Guys. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, guys. Please. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye.